Are you looking for ideas to plan an epic road trip, either local or cross country? Well, let me show you how. Hi, I'm Kerry from Summer Living, and we've been traveling in our RV for over five years, part-time right now, but hoping and praying that one day we can make that leap to full-time. Planning is a huge and very important part of the road trip process, and roadtrippers.com can give you a great launching off point. Come and let me show you how to start that epic road trip. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit down at our computer here. We are going to pull up roadtrippers.com. Now, this is a free service. You can use this without an account, uh, without a paid account, I should say. They do have a plus feature. And if you check out the description below, I have a link to that plus feature. And I also have a promo code that'll give you $5 off. But the free one is actually pretty good. The only limitation I see that, that kind of, you know, might be a problem is you can only put seven stops on your trip. After that, you have to buy the plus service. But the free one is actually pretty good. So here we are on the Road Trippers website. We're gonna do a starting point. We're gonna just say, oh, I don't know, New York City. We'll do New York City right there. And you do wanna pick an end destination. Now, we've been to lots and lots of places. So I'm just gonna randomly pick one of our favorite places and that is Rocky Mountain National Park. Click go and you'll see what it does here is it starts to create your trip. Now, here's my starting point, which is New York City and here's my ending point, which is Rocky Mountain National Park. And clearly we can see there's a lot of distance in between. Now, if you look over here on the left-hand side, it gives the trip a name, which is usually the destination name, Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, it's got your starting location, which is New York City, and it also has the, in this case, the end destination, which is Rocky Mountain National Park. Up top here, we have a bunch of different icons that will enable us to see lots of different points of interest along the way. Places to camp, sites and attractions, the great outdoors, bars and restaurants, hotels and unique stays, activities and experiences, there's fuel and rest stops, sports and wellness, and there's also transportation services. So you can click on any of these things and they'll all pop up. So what we usually do when we're planning a trip is I know that I'm not gonna be able to drive the 1,812 miles to get there in one shot. So what we do is I'll kind of scroll over here and we'll zoom in. And I know that we can usually drive somewhere around 300, 350 miles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click places to camp, cause we do RV. And what happens is all of these places to camp will pop up on your screen. Now, all of these places are within 30 miles from your route. Because if you look down here, there is a kind of like a slide bar that you can use to adjust the distance from the route. So I like to keep it at 30 miles, you can change that. And I know that I could probably make it to the western part of Pennsylvania on that first day. So we're just going to click on this KOA right here. And if you click on it, there's two things you can do. One, if you click on the actual campground uh, name right there, some reviews will pop up. Over here, you can go directly to their website if you want. It'll tell you things like what they have, what they don't have. Um, all the ins and outs of the campground will be here, plus reviews by people on road trippers who've actually stayed there. So I'm going to click once again, right on that, and we're going to do add to trip. So once I click add to trip, what it does is it now incorporates that stop in my trip. And if I go up here and click on trip, you'll now see that the Mercer Grove City KOA in Mercer, Pennsylvania has now been added to my trip. And this campground, as you can see right here, is 381 miles away from my starting point. So I know that that's a pretty good destination and I can make it there that first night. Now, if you were planning on staying at that stop for any long or any short period of time, what you then could do, if you wanted to, is you could go back up here and maybe you wanna see what kind of hiking is in the area. So you click on something like the Great Outdoors, and it gives you all sorts of options for outdoor activities. You can filter them in any way you want, beaches, national parks, okay? You can sort them, you can rate them, um, open now. 
any of these things and you can add them to your trip also. So let's say that we're gonna be here for, oh, I don't know, a day and we wanna go to this state park. So I click on that. I can add this to my trip. Add it to trip. And now we have that as well added to our trip. And you could also see that, well, actually it stuck it here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right underneath. You can, you can toggle these in any way you want. And you can see it's actually 18 miles from that campground. All right, so if you like this video, give me that, hit that like button down at the bottom and subscribe to the channel if you're getting value out of this video. And hopefully you're planning your next trip. Let me know in the comments below if you've started planning your next trip already. But now I know that I wanna keep moving along and maybe I can make it all the way to Indiana the next day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the map over and I'm gonna once again click on places to stay. And let's see. Maybe we can make it to somewhere near El Elkhart. You know, it is the RV capital of the world. So maybe we could stay here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum. I do know that they have a campground nearby. So we're gonna add that to the trip. And I wanna make sure it's not too far of a driving day for me. So as you can see, the first day is 381 miles. The second day is gonna be 318 day, 318 miles. That seems like a good distance. And I could probably stop at the RV Museum and Hall of Fame. So again, I can keep continuing this process along the way until I land at my destination. Which Road Trippers is actually a pretty user-friendly application to use, whether it's on the app, on the mobile device, or on the computer. I personally like to use it on my computer, but the app is just as good. And the last thing that I really want to show you here is that if you take a look here, they have pre-made trips for you. So if you click on trip guide here, you'll see they have a bunch of trips already made for you. Route 66, Highway 1. Highway 1 is I think one that we gotta do in the near future. So here's a Highway 1 road trip. And if you click on this, well, first of all, they give you a little bit of an explanation on it. All right, and if you click on take this trip, now I can go in here and go to my trips. And if you scroll down here, you'll see it's added it to my trips. So if I scroll out, cause I was in Colorado and I head on over here to highway one, and you'll notice that it already has stops laid out for me, points of interest, this is obviously assuming that I'm starting here, but you can change that, okay? It's got um, points of interest, it's got places to stay. The pre-made trips are really cool. So if you're looking for inspiration or ideas, check out those pre-made trips. And the last thing I wanna show you is you can share the trip. So I can click on share trip and I can send it on Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest, or I can email it to someone. This now, is really good because we always share our trips with our family. They like to know where we are all summer. So we share the trips and they don't need an account for you to share it with them, which is amazing. So if you're interested in planning your next road trip, Road Trippers is definitely a great place for you to start. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. We hope to see you on the road.